Well folks, welcome back. This is um, the next part of session six, uh, working with exponential families. So as you remember, we already discussed about this in the Gaussian um, session, but now we are going to do it again. And we want to see why the exponential family has the, the, the shape it has, right? So we want to find out, for instance, the maximum entropy uh, distribution so we want to maximize the the entropy of a distribution px subject to that that distribution right like the function px integrates up to one and such that um it has some some particular um expected values or particular moments if you want particular first moments such that for instance i want to compute that expected value of that px uh of uh, of a function f f k is some f k value right so there is some some constant in here and we want we can do that um, by solving the Lagrangian so we are going to follow the same approach that we did for the Gaussians so basically we want to form this this Lagrangian over here so we are just plugging in the the entropy the p of x of the log of p of x and it is a negative one and we want to maximize that thing right subject to that this this, this uh, restriction over here it's um uh, it holds and similarly to these k restrictions over here right we have k of this integral so we have k uh, lambdas over here such that this integral is also up to fk and then we want to compute the derivative of this thing with respect of p of x and we use calculus operation for that and similarly as as, as, as before since this hold, we can just compute the integral, the derivative of what is inside of the integral. So we end up with a uh, derivative of this, that is just derivative of p of x times uh, log of p of x, so it is one times this, uh, plus derivative of p of x, uh, sorry, the p of x times derivative of log of p of x. So that is p of x over p of x, that is one, minus the lambda of p of x, that is one, so I got this uh, lambda zero. And similarly, uh, the derivative of this p of x times lambda k f k, it is uh, only lambda k uh, f k because the p of x cancels out. And we want to find the optimum value of this, so I do equal to zero, solve for p of x, and we get this exponential form. And if we call this e up to minus lambda zero minus one set inverse, that means like my set, I have the same shape as we have for the particular um, exponential family, right? So this is basically one over set times the exponential of minus the summation of my lambda k's and the f k restrictions that I have. Um, now, if you remember, I have my, my constraint that is just the subject to that integral of this should be one. So I need to do the integration of this part over here. And um, I can solve for Z, and we see that Z end up as the as the partition function, such that it, it needs to be the integral of this thing over here, so it, it is uh, up to one. That's why the, the partition function is the way it is, and um, and the, the exponential is also the way it is, because it is the distribution that maximizes the entropy, like it is the one that holds the less amount of bias with respect of the of the constraints that I have, okay? So, yeah, um, if this is... Uh, so, yeah, okay. See you uh, later in the next part.